Hi guys! Uh, I asked a couple of weeks ago on my Instagram page whether anyone would be interested in seeing a flip through of my uh, pocket size Foxy Fix and a couple of people said they'd be interested so I'm finally getting around to filming it. So this is my everyday carry. So this is the planner that I take with me in my handbag on the go. Um, it fits in my coat pocket which I really like so I can take it without a handbag and this is my wallet and uh, on the go planner. So I'll give you a little flip through. So first of all, it's a passport size or a number one, I believe, uh, Foxy Fix size. When you take the elastic off, this is not attached, but I just keep my credit card and my driver's license in there. So that just sits on the front. And if I want to take that and just chuck it in my pocket and not take the planner with me, I can do that. But they usually go together in my handbag. And then with it, I carry around a Muji pen. This one's a point five um, just a nice pen but I also have a bunch usually just floating around my handbag but this is the one I like for this planner and so this is a foxy fix travelers notebook it's in the Rowena leather I believe um, and it's got just plain white stitching no pockets no embossing I just got a plain one and this one has four straps on the inside When you take this off, the first thing you open, you see when you open, is my little wallet insert. And I only got this uh, a couple of weeks ago, but I just keep coins and notes in there if I have any. Um, but I don't usually carry a huge amount of cash, but that's where that lives. You flip that over and the first thing you get to is my meal planner. And this is what I use to write down uh, what we're going to eat, what I plan to eat. So usually we go shopping on Monday or Tuesday, I plan out the next four or five days, I write a rest list of things we need and then I go to the supermarket and pick those up. So that's been working out really well for me. And then this is the back of my wallet pocket. So I've just got some pretty little deco in there. You'll see that most of my planner is functional rather than pretty and decorative, but there are a few little rose gold elements. And I think these are just from the reject shop in one of their, their little vellum die cuts. Uh, the next insert I have is my monthly pages. These are set up as a month on one page. So you've got two months on two pages. Uh, it's vertical and it's just a line for each day. And what I have in here are my bills. So I've covered it up with washi tape just for the video. Uh, but you can see I just jot it down in pen. There's no fancy stickers. I don't really decorate it. It's just so that at a glance I can see what bills are due and when they're due. I've got a little box around the days that rent are due. Um, but yeah, that's so it's really easy. It's a really thin book, so it doesn't take up too much space, but it just means I can track my bills easily on the go. The next insert I have has a pocket attached to the front. It's just a pocket I made out of cardstock. Um, and then this is just a dot grid insert. So it's just plain dot grid. I use it to write down all sorts of things. Um, I just recently put a new one in here, so actually this one's pretty empty at the moment, but I'm going to enjoy. I just sort of make, it's the sort of thing that it's right in the middle of my planner. I can pull it out, I can easily write lists, to-do lists, things I don't want to forget, reminders, anything. Uh, and it's right in the middle of my planner, so it's one of the first booklets and it's the fattest, so it's easy to get to. The next one is just another dot grid, and this one is one I use for sketching out sticker ideas. I've got a few coming up, credit cards, a sleeping on the moon, face down. Not all of these make it into sticker format. I've also got ideas for insert like sizes that I want to create. So that's that one. Flip over, and at the back I've got another pocket. So this one again just has some pretty little die cuts in it. This is my insert a daily insert I don't use this all the time but if I really feel like I need to um, sketch out what a whole day is gonna look like uh, then I can do it in here and I do like to decorate this I do like to put some stickers in I don't use this for every day I just do it for the days that I feel like it might be busy or I might need to plan out uh, in like a more hourly fashion what I'm getting done so that's that book so that's what a blank page looks like so I can just fill in the date it's got hours 6 a.m. till 12 midnight, water plants because that's something I always forget to do. So that's that insert. And then we've got one more at the back. This one is almost full. I don't use the June calendar in here, 
but this is my month, uh, my uh, weekly spread. I actually stopped using this um, in this way, but I might go back to it. I do really like it. So you can see I didn't use it that week, but then I started just recording my hours for work in it. And it's got a little bookmark, which I usually have on the day that it is, but you can see that this insert is just about to end. So I'm gonna have to print out a new one for July. Just got some grid at the back. And then the last bit is the back side of that pocket. It's just where I put all my receipts and every couple of days I take them out and I file them wherever they have to go, either into uh, Etsy related. So anything like when I pay postage, I keep the receipts for that that go in there and then later on I file them away. So as you can see, it's really just a functional planner. I, I don't have any clips on top because I really just like to be able to throw this in my handbag and have it be really sturdy. And I find that if I've got clips on top that are poking out, they often just fall out. Even this bookmark falls out sometimes. But um, I don't, it doesn't jangle. It doesn't, I can just carry it. It feels really sturdy in my hand. I'm not worried about any bits falling off. The pen just, I don't have a pen loop just sort of sits in there quite nicely and then my credit cards just go on the front if I really want to I can also just chuck my phone in there and then I've got everything I need in one fairly compact space and I can just put that whole thing in my handbag pull it all out it's ready to go excuse my janky old phone so yeah that's my foxy fix currently it's my current setup for my foxy fix uh, I really like it I really like the bills section, I really like having a lot of space to just write stuff down. I really like having my uh, shopping list in here because I can take this shopping. It's small enough that I can just hold it in my hand, tick things off as I pick them up and put them into the trolley and I don't forget anything anymore. So that's really actually helped with my budgeting too, working out what we're cooking. So I've only been doing that for a few weeks, but it's working out really nicely. I like having a spot for my receipts too, instead of just chucking them crumpled into my handbag. I like having that spot in there. Um, and I like that it's not too bulky. I could probably fit another two small inserts in here, maybe. Um, but I really like it the size that it is. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know if you want me to keep doing flip throughs. I do have a couple of other traveler's notebooks that I use. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Bye.